We are jumping back into my career and in this video we are only starting out with one measly upgrade. You guys know that I come out in these videos, I usually have a lot of badge point upgrades and a lot to do, but only one in this video and let's go ahead and see what we want to do with this. So, so far we got Gold Acrobat, I'm going to put it in Fearless Finisher, I eventually want to get that up to Hall of Fame as well. So I want Hall of Fame Acrobat, I want Hall of Fame uh, Fearless Finisher and then I'm probably going to do Gold Pro Touch and Gold Posterizer, I think I'll have enough for pretty much all of that uh, by the time we fully upgrade all our finishing badges. But let's not waste too much time in this one. Let's jump straight into the game. In this one, we are going up against the Brooklyn Nets with a healthy Kyrie Irving, a healthy Kevin Durant. So this game should be pretty challenging. And I'm rocking a new jumper in this one. Believe it or not, your boy has actually switched this jumper up. Take a look at this. Actually knocking down. Our first three ball of the game. Not even a green light, so a good start for us right there. The Nets are looking to come right back. Kyrie Irving knocking down a little midi right there. But yes, I changed my jumper. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I still got to get used to it, but look at this. I'm going to flare out for a three ball right here, and we're getting a green light already. Our first green lights of the game, but we got some buckets early on. As KD says, you know what? Let me match her real quick. See, I got to remember, I'm guarding KD, man. He is a serious, serious player. I cannot take him lightly whatsoever as we are bringing down a rebound right there, looking to push the pace in transition. I got KD in front of me. It's going to be a tough matchup as I'm fading away. Hit a nice little green again. So, I mean, early on in this game, I got nothing to say but good things about this jumper as we come out, flare out for a three ball. And yes, I don't even got to say it, another one. Another green light, 14 to 7. As I'm gonna find Nerlens cut into the rim. I don't know what happened to the Nets defensively on that possession, but you can see we're really in control of this game early on. I thought the Nets were gonna come out and be a competitive team, but so far so good for us. As I flare out for another three, this time we're gonna miss. I mean, we're feeling ourselves. We, that was a bit of a heat check. As I get the ball right here, Spencer Dinwiddie is in front of me, almost losing the ball, but thankfully recovering, going off the backboard as we are trying to build onto our lead. Now moving into the second quarter, you can see we only got a two point lead right now. As the Nets clearly did some work while I was on the bench, but we get a nice and one bucket there to give us a bit of breathing space. Spencer Dinwiddie on the other end is gonna throw it up and get the end one as well. Okay, it looks like the Nets want to go bucket for bucket. Okay, I got this. Get the ball in my hands one more time. Less than three to go here as I'm driving to the rim and putting up some garbo. We actually miss at the rim. But you know what? I got to get him in the post after that. I'm going to throw up this little hook shot in the lane. Thankfully, we get that one to drop in as we really needed a bucket there. You can see it's a pretty much a low scoring game, 38 to 39. As Spencer Dinwiddie puts it down with two hands. And I don't know, man. The Nets actually make this comeback, and they are playing very, very good basketball. As DeAndre Jordan is going to miss the first time, miss the second time, playing some incredible defense at the rim. Unfortunately, I'm a bit too small to grab that rebound over that big man. As KD comes up, puts up a three ball, thankfully misses that one. A really wide open look. I cannot give him much more of those as I'm going to drive to the rim here and get that layup to drop in over Jared Allen. Bit of a dangerous play right there. Nets come back. They're going to miss that jumper as well. You can see it's a tight, low scoring game, 43 to 45. As in transition, I'm a blow by Kyrie Irving, and we tie this game up at 45 apiece. Less well, than seven minutes to go here. Joe Harris with the ball, trying to create. He's going to lob it up to DeAndre Jordan. Okay. The Nets go back up by four points. I'm coming off a screen, trying to look for a three ball. They have definitely shut me down on those, but I'm driving to the lane and putting it down on Jordan. And that's how you let the Nets know we are out here. We are making a statement as Kevin Durant goes to the rim and says, no, you're not. Relax as they go back up by four points, reaching the five minute mark in this third quarter. Blown by Joe Harris. He's not going to stop me. Let's be real. I'm going to get buckets on Joe Harris all day long. We got ourselves a three point deficit as Kyrie Irving continues to just put it in on Chris Paul. Chris Paul's having a hard time. Stay in front of Kyrie as we're going to take a pick and roll action here. Muscala on the inside. Thankfully gets that one to drop in a three-point game. Still in the Nets' favor as Joe Harris putting up a three ball and knocking that down as the Nets are building onto their lead. I'm putting up a three of my own and missing. Okay, so things are getting a little bit, a little bit scary for us right now. As Kyrie's going to find Joe Harris. I'm jumping. Didn't want him to shoot a three ball, but instead he drives to the lane. 
and they go up by eight points as the Nets are clearly making a statement here in this third quarter. Jamal Crawford would miss that three ball. Some great defense at the rim as Nerlens picks up a foul. They get an and one buckets. How does that even work? Final minute in this third quarter, launching up the three ball. Thankfully, we got a green light on this one. We're getting used to this new jump shot. So things have been a little bit shaky for us as Spencer Dinwiddie gets the super easy buckets. We are having a tough time stopping these guys. I check back in in the fourth quarter and we are down by 20. Make that 24. Can you believe it? So we blew this game out, man. The Nets are actually rolling us right now, but I'm going to try to keep us in this one as we go to the lane for a quick two-hander. Now, we don't have the most time on earth to make this comeback, and I don't really think it's possible, but you know what? We can't give up as Kyrie is guarding up on me. We've got a little pick-and-roll situation. Gallinari's going to roll to the rim, and you know what? We slowly chip away. We got it down to a 19-point game. Back come the Nets. I'm tapping that one away as KD's going to turn this one over. I'm trying to get... A quick bucket here, and we get an and one. That makes it a 17-point gain. Now, I would miss my free throw as Kyrie comes right back on the other end and basically slashes our hopes of making a comeback here. We got less than five minutes to go as KD trying his best to stay in front of me. I'm feeling it right now. I got to get my team involved. I got to stay aggressive if we're going to try to pull off any form of comeback. Makes it a 17-point game right I see Steven Adams rolling to the rim, and he throws down a nice little oop. That makes it a 15-point game. KD wide open. Thankfully, misses. He would have made us pay every other time. Thankfully, he would miss that time. As I'm trying to cross over here, I see Gallinari wide open. He's going to put up a three ball, and he knocks it down. Danilo Gallinari makes it a 12-point game. Kyrie Irving drives, but Chris Paul catches his layup. Chris Paul stepping up defensively. I'm coming with a little one-two cross. I'm going to the rim and making it a 10-point game. The Nets need a timeout. Coming out of that timeout, I don't know what the Nets are thinking, but they need a bucket. The, the fans are stunned at this point as Jared Allen throws up some garble. I don't know what that was. We are coming back in transition. I'm going all the way. little righty layup off the backboard to make it an eight point game. We are down to single digits as KD puts it up and misses. We have a chance to continue to cut into this lead. I'm trying my best to get to the rim. We throw it up, not an end one, but we would go to the line and make it a six point game. Less than two minutes to go. KD flares up for a three and knocks it down. It's a really, really big shot as they go back up by nine points. Now I come off a little screen right here. I got my takeover, but you know what? We gotta drive the rim. Right, it's been working all game long at this point. Might as well keep going to it as Kyrie Irving's going to drive here. Kick it out to KD. And he misses. So Steven Adams grabs the rebound. We got a chance here to cut into this lead. Make it a five-point game. Maybe even a four-point game. Now I'm looking for a little screen here. Gallinari, you got to set me something better than that. I got Jared Allen in front of me. He's going to stumble. I see the lane. I'm going all the way. Making it a five-point game one minute left as KD is just, he's just in attack mode right now I couldn't stop him doing what he does best and taking over as I come right back at him I'm trying to get a bucket real quick force my way to the rim got him falling for the pump fake and we cut it back down to a five-point game reaching this 42nd mark as Kyrie Irving is trying to create they're trying to get a switch there thankfully it did not happen as Chris Paul doing some incredible defensive play slapping that one away as I'm getting this in transition trying to get past Jordan but that is some good defense he's gonna lock me down right there but you know what I need the ball right back in my hands I got this mismatch calling for this pick and roll as Gallinari is gonna roll to the rim he's gotta go up with it he's gonna get fouled with 16 seconds left Gallinari goes to the line and nails the first free throw making it a four point game Gallinari for his second free throw makes it a three-point game and all we got to do right now is foul anybody but Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant so Karis LeVert he's gonna go to the line for some free throws so Karis LeVert the first one goes up and misses he misses the second one we're in some pretty decent shape so Karis LeVert putting up that second one and that misses as well 10 seconds left I'm calling for a pick and roll. I need somebody to send me a screen to give me a wide open look. You see the double team coming over. I flare it out. 
Gallinari gets it. Chris Paul puts up the three. And he misses. We almost completed one of the biggest comebacks ever. And we ended up losing. I was calling for the ball back. I wanted the ball in my hands to close out the game. But I did not get it back, unfortunately, as you can see. And Chris Paul put up a decent look. He would miss it. And we ended up losing by three points. By three points. What a game, though. What an incredible comeback. I almost gave up on that one. I almost said, you know what? There is no way we can do this. But apparently, there was a way we can do it. And we almost did it. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a really fun one for me. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.